Well, from the looks of things, there seems to be a new GM that has landed in Philly, and his name is Sam Hinkie. And we would like to welcome him to the association. What's going on, everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. There's been a lot of changes in the association during the offseason and preseason. I've actually given guys a little bit more minutes to show what they had in the preseason. Now, our record was 4-3, and three, but things may change because I heard that the GM has something on his mind that he wants to do. As the new GM, I believe it's up to me to raise the morale of my team. But in what way can I satisfy every player on our roster? I've got just the thing. How about I get every player on my team a shoe deal? Thank you for calling Jordan Brand. This is Ashley. How may I direct your call? Hi. Uh, actually, I'm speaking with the right person. This is Sam Hinky, the new GM of the 76ers. Yes, Mr. Jordan told me to follow up with you about the team's endorsement deal. Yes, Mr. Hinky. I have everything here on my desk. Just give me a moment to move to the conference room so we can discuss this deal. Great. I'll hold. Okay, Mr. Hinky, let's get started. Now, from what I see, there is one slight problem with your portfolio. You guys don't have the financial backing to support this deal at all. Do you know how much it would cost? How in the whole our company would be if we accepted this offer? The players you're asking to join are not star material and some have not even made a name for themselves. I understand that. We did not have the number one draft pick this year, and our OK to great players already have deals that they're locked into. But rest assured, if you guys can accept this deal, I will push all players under contract with Jordan to do whatever it takes to get noticed by the media, the fans, and their coach to get more playing time. Is that alright? Hold on one moment. Hello, MJ. This deal is not rational and only stands on high hopes of gambling by you. If it were up to me, I wouldn't take this offer, sir. The thing is, it's not up to you. I specifically told you to accept their offer and to get all contracts printed out. Is the Sixers GM there? Yes, sir. All right, put me on speaker now. Are you sure that's necessary, sir? Do I have to say it again? Hey, Sam, what's going on, man? Um, I'm sorry for my assistant. She was told one thing, but completely did another. We will be accepting your offer, and I will be sending out the contracts under one condition. We have a new shoe out. It's called the Jordan CP36. Now, what I'm asking of you guys is, since it's recently dropped, we need all the players that will be currently under contract with me to wear these their first game. Is there any obligation to this? No, sir. I got one better for you. I can make certain that the only shoe that they will want to wear for the home opener is that shoe right there. Thanks for everything, Mr. Jordan. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and Ashley, don't think I forgot. I will deal with you when I get back to the office. Yes, sir. I will be sure to be prepared for your arrival, sir. You are so lucky I love watching how terrible Sir Charles golfed. Hey guys, you've seen it here first. As soon as Sam Hinkie dropped on the scene, he done got everybody a Jordan endorsement for the Sixers. Hey, I'm totally happy about that. I know you guys are happy. But one thing you might want to know is I've made a couple changes during this preseason. Nerlens Noel will be the starting center for this team. Bullock has earned more minutes. And one thing I would like to say before we get into game one of my season is a special shout out to Az Chica for giving me her vocals for this skit. It, I believe it came out well. I hope you guys liked it. But it's time to see what we got, man. I'm equipping the Jordans right now. We about to go in. You know what? I don't even want to tell y'all our matchup for the first game of the season. I just want y'all to sit back, relax, and watch. Let's get into it, y'all. And there's a shot earlier of the 76ers preparing for action. Happy Halloween here on opening day. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Are you as ready as we are? It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you could join us. All right, you guys, it's time for the first game of the season. This is a real big reason why we picked up Nerlens Noel. Did you see how easy he won that tip off? That looked like he didn't put in any effort at all. He's going to be one of those guys this season that bangs down low in the paint. Is going to get those rebounds, win those tip-offs, and hopefully get some of those big blocks that we need to close these games. Now, Drew Holiday, he's a man of his own. I'm not even going to say any words about this guy. Drew Holiday does it all as a sixer. It's nothing he can do. Look at this. This guy is getting assists in the beginning of the game. But what you might notice is 
Milwaukee went on an 8-0 run on us, and it's all because of this guy right here, Monte Ellis. One thing I'm going to say about this guy, I don't know who he is. He thinks he's a superstar. He thinks he's D-Rose, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think Monte should have been on the cover of NBA 2K13 the way he's playing. Look at this. Look at him in the corner. I ain't going to say like what, but he nailed that shot with pretty ease. So we need a timeout. It's hard for us to make a comeback against guys like this. We're down 10 and... Currently, when I was playing this game, I was like, I need a big comeback. I need something that's going to bring me back in the game. And I realized who I had on my squad, Mr. J.R. Smith. Now, you guys might notice, when I got Mr. Swish himself, I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to try to exploit him for all that he's worth with all these threes all game. So, you know what I did? I'm going to edit up this footage real good. Y'all ain't going to see too many threes from JR. Y'all just going to see some key points. That's all I'm saying. But check this out right here. Check out how much intuition and how much knowledge Drew Holiday has. They're lagging back on defense. They don't know what they're doing. And we make full court passes like it ain't nothing. This ain't like my player. When I make a pass full court, it gets made. But check out Thaddeus. Whoa, did you see that? Hold on. Let's, let's check the replay real quick. This is how good Drew Holiday is, man. We get the ball moving. That's how much tempo we have on the court. But I will have to say this. That is young. Sadly did not make that free throw. And it's all good. But check out this boy right here. Monte Ellis. He is on a tear. He has 14 points in the first quarter. Now, you know, know God darn well with somebody that's scoring like this, it's going to be hard to come back. But I tried to let it go with J.R. Smith. You guys all remember that clip when he nailed that thing in front of like three or four different guys. I guess I couldn't make it happen with him wide open. It's all good, though. <laughs> But Drew Holiday, he's running plays the right way. I think that he's getting to the bucket and getting guys open. Just like this right here with Spencer Hawes. I think I'm going to need Drew Holiday every game if I want to win. And it's simply because he's a good all-around player. He knows how to dribble. He's pretty quick. He has a good jump shot. And I mean a remarkable jump shot. Just like Darrell Wright, for instance. I know a lot of people were, were probably killing me in the comment section of my last video about keeping Darrell Wright and giving away Swaggy P. Well, you know, I don't, I don't like to keep people that get a sexual assault charges and stuff like that. Never mind. We're not even going to worry about that. Let's talk back more about basketball. Now, check out the ball movement that I'm using. Now, usually in my player, I don't move the ball. I just do everything by myself. But JR, oof. JR, he's hot. He's on fire. That's one thing I will say, man. That boy right there, he can't be stopped. I'm just going to say it like this. Look at this. Look at this. Right around the pick. That's how you play basketball, people. Let's check out the replay. Look how it happened. The nice pick, the clear lane, and somebody just got dunked on. I, I don't know. It was a good no call. I will say that. But somebody just got dunked on. They ain't getting no balls put in their face. But, hey, they got dunked on. <laughs> it's all good. But you guys might notice that we have a one-point lead, and we're trying to take a good advantage of this lead. So we run a nice pick and roll with Moultrie, and hey, I'm going to have to give this guy plus four minutes for that dunk alone. I don't know who minutes I'm going to take from, but that dunk right there definitely did it. It's time to get into halftime. We're up three points. We came back from a three-point deficit in the first quarter to a three-point lead. We're doing great. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The spookiest day of the year. Halloween. It's really not that scary. Not during the 2K Sports Halftime Report, anyway. For the 76ers in Philadelphia, they got a tight one going on against Milwaukee. A couple of powerhouse rosters here tonight that we may see face off in the postseason as well. J.R. Smith is having a huge impact. 13 points, and he's been able to provide some nice assists as well. And on the other side, Milwaukee just keeps scrapping. Their work on the offensive boards, a big factor, great effort out there. A great performance by Monte Ellis in the first half. He's already notched 18 points and three rebounds as well. A look now at some games slated for later on in the evening. The Nets out in Brooklyn will go up against the Trailblazers. Tip-off is at 7 Eastern. In another game that's coming up, the Houston Rockets will be playing out against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. That gets going 7.30 Eastern. And now, a look at the other NBA action. It's the Mavericks against the Warriors out in Oakland. Some teams in the West facing off there. A 7.30 Eastern. 
and welcome back to the second half of our Halloween broadcast. Monte Ellis has been sensational. Well, why eat at the drive-thru when you can sit down at the buffet and have all you can eat, Clark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've been listening, partner. I like that. Um, that's exactly what you need. Now that we're back to the second half, I just want to tell you guys that every team makes mistakes. Every team. Check out this big mistake by Jason Richardson throwing that into traffic. I don't know what he was thinking about, but guess what? He made it up on defense as he takes the charge by Monte Ellis. I don't know how I did it, but hey, I was able to take that charge. Now, I noticed that we needed to go back to fundamentals. We were running the ball around way too much, and we weren't running plays. And running plays actually works when you can control all five guys. So, I put the ball into the paint of Thaddeus Young, and he went to work. No, I didn't have to aggressively back him down. I had the strong arm on him, and we did what we needed to do. Now, Ilya Sova, I don't know what he be thinking sometimes. He just be swearing he got Thaddeus Young on a leash, but hey. It is what it is. But Monte, lately he's been off. And that's the reason why we've been able to take the lead. Now, I told you guys about that guy Bullock, right? Remember that rookie that I told you I gave more minutes to? This is the reason why I gave him more minutes. Look at that aggressive take to the hole. That's what we needed with the Sixers, man. Every year when we've seen the Sixers play since AI has been going, we haven't seen any aggression. Nobody is aggressive. Nobody wants to take it to the hole. Nobody wants to show up. But hey, this year is going to be different. We're going to have guys banging in the paint. We're going to have points in the paint. And it's going to be totally different. You guys know how I like to play. I love to play aggressive. I love to get to the hole. I love to get to the line. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, stop it right here. Get a little bit of intermission going. Now we're running a play, of course. And this is to Nerland's Noel. Something easy. But now it is time for me to go to the line. Yeah. Yeah. That happened. Now, I saw in the comment section of one of my videos, somebody said, hey, why don't you go ahead, get fouled one time by with Nerlens Noel, and go ahead and go to the line. Now, when I read the comment, I said, hey, it can't, it can't, be, it can't be too much that's wrong, right? So, I end up trying to pull up for the free throw, right? And guess what I noticed? He has the Shaquille O'Neal free throw. Now, this is one guy in the next video, you will see this guy shooting free throw after free throw after free throw in practice. It's no goddamn way. If I'm going to be playing this association, going to the line, it ain't going to be no hacking the well. <laughs> Real right. We are not going to do that. Nobody is going to be hacking my guy. But like I said, Monte Ellis may have been off, but guess what? He's hot again. He's made shot after shot, and now we're only up four. But hey, I prayed to the 2K guys. Y'all remember those guys? So with Patrick Beverly, I was able to nail the three, and now we're back up something nice. But it's only .5 seconds. They can't do nothing with it. Let's get into the fourth quarter, y'all. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And now our sideline reporter Doris Burke has a report on our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, our uncontainable game in this one, the stretch by the 76ers. You'd have had an easier time getting into Fort Knox than scoring on them this game as their defense has been airtight and allowed them to keep expanding this lead. Thanks, Doris. And guys, when you can put together that sort of streak that builds the momentum in a big way for your team, it's something. Always, Kevin. I mean... Now, our main goal coming into the fourth quarter was to play defense and keep our lead. Uh, I mean, by any means necessary, we need to win our first game of the year. We need to show the league that even with these new younger guys, we can come out and win games. So, on offense and defense, we were playing great transition. We were playing great offense. Guys that you wouldn't think step up, stepped up big time. But, with every time someone steps up, somebody else does on the opposite end of the court. So, Brandon Jennings was able to get that steal and get a nice little dunk. I didn't know Brandon Jennings could rise like that in 2K. And said, so look at him grabbing up on that rim. I wanted him to get a technical, but you know, it's 2K. They ain't trying to give out no text unless you got that connect on. But, hey, man, look at this, man. We're making mistake after mistake on the court. And they are taking advantage of these mistakes. Look at this. Monte Ellis clearly... Clearly shouldn't have been able to get an open lane, but hey, he bumped my guy. It is what it is, and we need to take a timeout. Yes, I manually pressed timeout. I couldn't take it no more. I said, oh, no, no, no. 
but we're only up three. It's 108 to 105. They have been on our backs all game long. They had the lead, and I had to remember that. So I went to my secret weapon right here, but boy Bullock, he is so athletic, man. I don't know what it is about this player right here, but I don't know who he's built after or made of, but hey. I could just thank these guys for this draft. He just shows up. Hold up. He looked like the real deals. Never, still new. But no, never mind. Never mind. But uh, <laughs> he's going to the line right now. And you know he already made that free throw. That was an easy free throw that I had to make. But check out the nice pick and roll that me and Thaddeus Young went through. That was something that we definitely needed. We needed a, a pick me up as you could say because... It seems like our team just wasn't doing what we needed to do. It seems like we were giving guys open looks just like this layup right here. For what reason, I don't know why the defense broke down, but they was able to get the easy layup. Now, it's about 30 seconds left. We're up five, and I'm like, yo, we got this. But no. Nah. Monte Ellis said, no. Nah. Chief Keith voice. He was like, look, I understand y'all up five right now. But we're not going to do this. But check this play out right here. I don't know what I was thinking with Drew Holiday. I tried to pass it. Got it deflected. We got it back. But that is Shung made a stupid pass. I don't know what happened. But J.R. Smith is at the line. I'm like, hey, I could put the nail in the coffin right here. We're about to go up three points. There's no way that he can score in 10 seconds. But you guys got to remember, this is the NBA. 10 seconds can seem like a lifetime on the clock. Now look at this move right here. Brandon James with the range said, F yo 10 seconds, bruh. I was like, oh. Listen, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. But I believed in Drew Holiday. So when I pulled up with him, I was like, it's no way he can miss this shot. But not only did he miss, he got it blocked. So y'all already know what it means, guys. It's in the regulation. We're going into halftime. How did y'all even picture this? Epic overtime, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I told you guys we love running the break, right? So whenever the ball gets in Drew Holiday's hands in the backcourt, you already know that assists are going to happen. So I'm just trusting in him to be able to get things done. Now, that big fail right there may have been the biggest mistakes of the Bucks all day. And did y'all see that bounce pass? Did y'all see that thing almost get tipped off? Hold on, hold on. Let's see if they run that replay. Look at that. Did you see the quick hands by Monte? I was about to scream. I was like, no. But he did get the uh, nice bounce pass, and we did get the dunk. Did y'all see the crowd, by the way? The crowd is pretty happy. Now, one thing you guys might notice is now Lance Noel was on the court, right? And when he on the court and he get down low, you might as well forget about it. He going to get that dunk. And ain't, ain't no reason in hell why he shouldn't be able to make that dunk. But check this out, guys. You guys know how the story goes. If the Bucks got the ball with time on the clock, things ain't over. Now, just like Brandon Jennings hitting that crazy range three, he was able to grab the rebound over two guys and nail the layup. I was like, what is going on? I was like, I can't believe it. But I was on my hands and knees. I prayed to the 2K gods once again. And the only thing on my mind that I could think of was swish. And guess what? He was able to get me the nice contact layup with a no call, of course. But, hey, it is what it is. Now, Smith is back on the line. He definitely puts the nail in the coffin right there. So, we're going to come out to win this game by five. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe in the first game of the season, going up against the Bucks, we were forced into overtime. Oh, my God. Oh, man. But it was a great game. Oh, man. It was hella fun. One thing I will say is I'm not taking anybody for granted anymore. I'm stepping up in people's face. We're going to play on constant pressure. We're going to play on half-court press for most of the game. We need to make some changes. But, hey, man, we can only get better with practice. So we'll see about that next episode. Let's get into this Kill Confirmed beat, y'all.
Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Al Pac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I just want to thank you guys for watching. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like this video. But check out the seven assists by J.R. Smith. Now we all know that he can pull a trigger, but I didn't know he can get that many assists. Did you guys see the double-double by Holiday and Noel? Hey man, that's all I'm saying. We doing good as a team so far. But check out Monte Ellis, 19 for 46 though? This dude said, I'm putting the team on my biz act. But let's check out some team stats real quick. 113 field goals tried by the Milwaukee Bucks is just outrageous. They really, really just pulled the trigger. But what killed me was the 20 turnovers and the 27 points off those turnovers by the Milwaukee Bucks. That goes to show, man, this is why teams stay in the game against me. And I need to change that. But this is IKC signing out. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Y'all stay up and stay blessed. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Yerp, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.